Good morning on this beautiful Monday morning. I hope everybody is doing very well. I am here alone because Rick went in to work days today and I have been actually outside because our phone company Verizon came to check our lines. I had called them last week because for a long time now, I've been having a hum on my phone that has just gradually gotten louder and louder to where it's difficult for me to even hear people, but now the people who I'm talking with can hear it. And I noticed that my internet connection kept going in and out, and which is why I had problems uploading on Saturday morning to YouTube. and. So I called them up and they sent a tech out today. And he, sure enough, he checked the lines and there is something wrong. And it's, it's not on my end, it's on their end. So he left, he said he would be back, but right now I'm without phone or internet service. So yeah, you know what, when you're here alone, it's a little boring without a phone or internet service. <laughs> But anyways, he'll be back. And of course, my dogs. They're acting like crazy dogs. Running from window to window, barking up a storm. So I've put them in the bedroom so that when he comes back, he doesn't think that they're rabid dogs. Anyways, I'll let you know how my day is going and I'll talk to you after a bit. Well, as you can see, Verizon is pretty much stuck. This young man was so helpful. He went beyond the call of duty because when he got stuck in the driveway, I had no phone or internet service. And if I, if he would have waited until he got towed out, I would have been without a phone or internet service for like four hours. But this young man, he actually walked all the way to the end of our road, which is quite a little hill and fixed the lines and then walked all the way back to let me know that it was fixed. I thought I would show you a couple of the pictures that my son Bruce had painted for us. This is a picture of Timothy in July, which would have been four months before he ended up dying. This here is a picture that Bruce did for me that is an oil painting of just a little pig with the um, sunshine peeping through the hole in the fence that he did for me because um, my kitchen has a lot of pigs, if you've ever noticed. This little picture is only about four inches by three inches. And this he just did with some colored pencils. He was just doodling at the kitchen table. And I just loved it so much that I framed it. This one here is one that is over my fireplace mantle. And actually this is the first picture that Bruce had painted for me. And this one here is a painting that he did, which was one of the very first paintings that he ever did. He was maybe 14 or 15 years old, and he painted it for my mother. This picture is one that he painted for me that is um, over my bed in my bedroom. I just think it's gorgeous. It's actually quite large, too. I thought maybe you would enjoy seeing those those paintings of my sons. They mean a lot to my heart. They're very near and dear. And I hope that you're having a very blessed afternoon. And I will talk to you after a bit. Good evening. I hope everybody has had a very nice day. Tonight, I want to talk to you about something that is I'm calling it a plan of escape. 
I don't know how many of you, when your children were young, or perhaps if you have young children now still, have planned out an escape from your home in case of fire. I remember doing this as a young mother with my children to the point where we actually had fire drills and my children had two ways of escape. One was if they could get out of their bedroom and the other one was if they could not get out of their bedroom, how to get the window open and the screen out and be able to get out the window. And luckily for us, the children's bedrooms were all on the, the ground floor, so it could be done. If this is wise counsel when you think about it. If you ever listen to like emergency workers, those that work for the fire department in that, when they talk, they tell people, have your smoke alarms working, make sure they're working and have a plan of escape and have a place to go to meet after you've escaped the home so that you know that everyone is safe. And those are very wise counsel, but did you know that in 2 Peter um, chapter 2, verse 9, that it says the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation? And that's what made me think of when my children were young and we had the plan of escape out of our home and we had a place to meet. Well, spiritually, God has put an escape plan in place for each one of us in case of temptation of any kind. His plan shows us the quickest way to get out of guilt and confusion and into the safety and security of his loving presence. His plan is this, when tempted, leave immediately. Perhaps Joseph comes to mind from the Old Testament. Whether it's from a physical place or an emotional state of mind, we are to run, not walk, to our Heavenly Father's arms. Take whatever troubles you have to Him in prayer and stay where you are until the way forward is clear. He may choose to soothe you with an outpouring of his spirit or with some strengthening words from scripture or maybe even the counsel of a wise, mature friend. But before you face temptation, know your plan of escape and he'll be there for you. Charles Stanley said this, God is waiting for us to come to him with our needs. God's throne room is always open. Every single believer in the whole world could walk into the throne room all at one time and it would not even be crowded. That's how big our God is. That's how wonderful our God is. So as always, life happens. Let's enjoy it and make sure you have your plan of escape when you face temptation because it's running right into the arms of our loving Father. Good night and God bless.